A man wearing a homemade pipe bomb has set off a device in New York's main bus terminal, injuring three people. Officials have called the incident an attempted terrorist attack. Our Noah Aram with the latest. Police have detained a man identified as 27-year-old Akhayed Ula for setting off a homemade pipe bomb on Monday that was strapped to his body. The Bangladeshi man injured three commuters in New York's busy Port Authority bus terminal near Times Square. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio called it an attempted terrorist attack and expressed relief that it did not result in any serious harm. And let's be also clear, this was an attempted terrorist attack. Thank God the perpetrator did not achieve his ultimate goals. Thank God our first responders were there so quickly to address the situation to make sure people were safe. Thank God the only injuries, as we know at this point, were minor. In the end, the only serious wounds were to the suspect, who suffered burns and lacerations. Law enforcement officials said Ula was inspired by the Islamic State group but apparently did not have any direct contact with the group and probably acted alone. They said the explosive used was an improvised low-tech device, adding they do not believe the attack was part of a bigger plan but an isolated incident. Ula is known to live in Brooklyn with his family and held a taxi and limousine commission license valid from 2012 to 2015. U.S. media are reporting that he told law enforcement officials that he carried out the attack because of recent Israeli actions in Gaza. In Washington, President Trump so, said the explosion uh, highlighted the need to change immigration policies, including the type of family-based visa ULA obtained to come to the U.S. in 2011. Port Authority bus terminal is one of the world's busiest in the world, serving more than 65 million people a year. Noaram, Arirang News.